the Zach Carver Show here on the Bear Network. I'm your host, Gary Ormans. Begin a look at Bear basketball. We've been off for a week because of the weather. Got back in the groove this week, Monday and Tuesday games. Coach Carver, before we talk about those, introduce these young men you brought today. Here. Uh, I got two of my juniors with me, Tyree Stovall and Marion Taylor. And it's good to have some juniors when we've got all those seniors, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, it is. <laughs> these two guys really, really playing good basketball. And, and I just got to brag on the entire team. I don't know what what you've been taking or what you've been doing, but something has clicked, and man, the team has really come together and playing good, playing hard, and it is fun to watch. I mean, we're getting off to some blazing starts like last night down at, at East at uh, Udawal, and we had a game money with McMinn County and two big wins. We won at Howard, beat uh, Walker Valley, you know, last week. So we've had four games, I guess, since our last program. It's good to get back in the flow here. Uh, what's, I guess, ask you first, what is, What's the, been the key for us to be so successful and play the way we are? Because it's just everybody's having fun out there. You know, the one thing you've told me, the last thing you tell before you go out on the floor is have fun, guys. And I, I can see they're having fun out there because they're playing good ball. I, I think it's a testament to them every day in practice. They're pushing each other. Yeah. You know, they're wanting to get better. The teams really come together. I think, you know, uh, I'll say it again, back to the Florida trip. Mm -hmm. I think we were able to come together as a team down there, and it, it's just progressed. And that's a testament to them. Well, it's really looking good and playing good. We got uh, Thursday night, tomorrow night, this is a Wednesday morning. We've got a big district game here with East Hamilton. Uh, Tuesday, we have a home game, a district game with Howard, and then we've got Cleveland next Friday. So we got a lot of action coming up here. But for Marion, uh, you're a, you're a three-year starter. And, and Coach, something else is going to mention to you as well. This is your third year, so you've had these guys, not uh, Tyrese, but you had these other guys, most, the whole team for at least three years, I guess now. And, you know them, they know you, you know the weaknesses and so forth so on. I guess it's a lot easier coaching just coming here the first year trying to figure out what skill level we have on the team, isn't it? It is, and you know, the system we put in offensively can be a little different at times and mm -hmm. confusing, and I think you're starting to see the understanding of the guys now being year three. They know more what to do. I'm not having to direct as much. You need to go here, you need to go here. They're, they're just out there playing, and, and it shows they're having fun doing it. Well, Marion, you got the speed, you got the strength, and to get in there and mix it up, you're fast on the floor. What do you think is your most valuable asset? Uh, what do you bring to the floor when you're out there for the team? And leadership, you guys have to talk a lot. I hear you talking sometimes, you know. And coach. Keyword is sometimes. Yeah. <laughs> I, every coach I talk to says communication is one of the key, whether it's on football field or basketball, you know, you're the other team that's got to know where you're at, you know, and cover for you there. But, why is the team playing so good right now? What do you think? Well, I think we understand our goal at the end of the at the end of the year. We got somewhere we got to go. So. What's that goal going to be? Where do you want to go? I'm trying to get to the state state championship. So we got we got to go to Murfreesboro. So we all talked about it. We all got together. So we everybody on the same understanding right now. So playing that glass house over there, that's where everybody wants to go. Yeah. So we got to get there. So. Yeah. Uh, Tyrese, your first year here, Bradley, you're a junior, six foot seven or so. Is a your uh, uncle's James Stovall. You play <coughs> football. He still has the record for most pass receptions in a game with 21 in a playoff game against Oak Ridge. You're a receiver. So, you know, <laughs> I'm putting a challenge out there, I tell you, right now. You've got a twin sister who's 45 minutes younger than you are. She's about six foot. Yes, sir. But you're six. I'm six seven. Six seven? Yes, sir. Your mom is what? Six, six one? She's six one. Yes, six one? Yes, sir. That must be a big fun time playing basketball <laughs> with each other. Did you ever play with your mom and get out there and just shoot around, have a little fun? Yeah, sometimes, sometimes she would like destroy me in the post. Sometimes, and I just, <laughs> it's just. He's being just, honest now, coach. Yeah. You know, it's just you know, Tati, my mom. It's just fun playing. It's just fun like all of us being tall and stuff. It'll be like a challenge for us for yeah. us to get better and stuff. And then my mom actually pushing us in training and such, and like helping us develop the, to the players that we are right now. Yeah, I know her when she was here before, and of course she played college ball and she plays professional ball and all that. But she ain't gonna cut you any slack. <laughs> no, <sir. laughs> and, and that's good. It's good to have players like him that's got parents that push them hard too. You know, isn't it? Oh, absolutely. You know, we'll talk about it after the games, and it, not anything other than like missing layup, missing free throws. And I know she has them in the gym the next morning. <laughs> yeah, so that's great. Ramirez. 
there's got to be one on every team. Who's the clown on the team in the dressing room that we don't see that's yeah. causing trouble? Or is it yeah. you? Yeah, it's probably me. Oh, really? Yeah, we got several. Yeah, it's a lot. It's probably the whole team, though. It's, it's everybody, really. But, yeah. I asked that question last year, and everybody said the same guy, you know. So yeah. you never know. You got to have fun, though. Yeah. That's the name of the game. It is a game, you know. We're going to yeah. have some fun here and, and try to be successful there. Uh, you got some big games coming up. We got some big games behind us there. The team's sitting here, what, 12 and 7? 13, 13 7. 13 yeah. 7. We went through a little losing streak, now we won six straight. Yeah. Yeah, and it's been a been a year of streaks. You know, open up 0 and 2, then win seven in a row, then we dropped five in a row, and now we're back to six in a row. So Well, I'm telling you, it's really come together. It's fun to watch you guys play and you can tell that they're having a good time and having a lot of fun out there. They're a lot of fun to coach too. They, I, they I, really are. It's I bet they are. They've made these last six games, my job has been a lot easier. You yeah. know, just kinda let them go out and play. They know the game plan, they know what the expectation is, and they've gone out and uh exceeded that so well we see him in the game and he's usually pretty mild on the side of him. i've seen him get a little heated on the side of him. is he is he hard on you in practice who coach oh, coach. oh yeah mm -hmm. yeah he i mm -hmm. ain't gonna lie it was worse like like freshman year like freshman sophomore year but yeah i like it though that's what he's supposed to do is he different during a five game losing streak than he is in a six game winning uh, streak up. He was, yeah it was a time right there <laughs> i wouldn't be too <laughs> And Tyrese, we mentioned you play football. You play anything else here besides uh, basketball or football? You're in track? I, ju I jump for track. High jump? Yes, sir. High oh. jump, long jump, triple jump. Oh, okay. So Coach Frazier is your coach, I guess, yes, for that. Sir. And Marion, it's you're solely basketball, right? Yes, sir. You guys are both juniors. You anticipate, would you like to play in college? Yes, sir. Okay. And you would as well, I'm sure. Yes, sir. So that's the opportunity is there, guys. You know, keep doing what you're doing and keep those grades up there. Coach, where do we need, where do you see, you look at your team, where do we need to get better, you know, is it our shooting, our free throws, our defense, our rebounding? Uh, you got these guys here with uh, him and Ari in there can just flat clear, and, and uh, Jairus Rogers, I'm breaking on Jairus Rogers for me here too, Jairus Rogers, I don't know. I told him the other night, he must have had his Wheaties that game Monday, <laughs> because he had 22 points and he was just everywhere. Last night we opened the game, what's he do, hits a three right off the yep. bat. Makes a steal, feeds uh, someone, we score, it's five nothing. They call timeout 31 seconds into the game. Yeah. You know, it's just, that's the way it started and that's the way it went the whole yeah. game, you know. Yeah. Uh, getting back to your question about what, where can we improve, yeah. obviously defense, communication, um, execution's a big thing. You know, that we have gotten better, but we're still not there yet, and, and we can continue to get better in those areas. How are we in regard to the injury with uh, Alex? Is he going to be back pretty soon, we hope? Uh, that's the plan. Uh, had a good report yesterday from the doctors, and yeah. hopefully start working him back in and practice uh, here in the next week or so, and, and we'll move on from there. I think when he comes back, we'll have four guys averaging double figures. Mm -hmm. And that's, here again, that's a problem for the defense. We saw a game Monday night, and, and I love the folks at McMinn County, but uh, Reese Frazier had 32 points, but nobody else had more than six. You can't win with one. It's not a one-man show in basketball. It makes it hard, and, you know, the way that, that our guys are playing, the way that we play, it's, you know, everybody eats out there. You know, you take the, the open shot, and mm -hmm. these guys have done a great job of finding the open man, and, and people are stepping up making shots. Hitting uh, pretty consistent on threes, and uh, got to improve on free throw shooting. The thing that you like, I know you talk about this, uh, I've asked you this before, is one of the first stats that you'll look at is the rebounding. Mm -hmm. And boy, we've had some dominating games rebounding-wise. And you also then, the next thing you'll say, well, we had this many assists, this many made buckets, and that tells you that they're playing together as a team and sharing the ball, as you say. It is, and they've done a great job. And, and, the, and the turnovers is one of the biggest things that is during this win streak is yeah. we've limited our turnovers. You know, we've started taking care of the ball not giving up those empty possessions. So that, that's, that's a credit to them. You know, they're, they're valuing every possession, taking care of the ball, and, and uh, executing. Well, I was looking back. You know, Tyrese had 23 points in that game against Walker Valley. Ram had 23, Tyrese had 24, and Ari had 10. So that's, and we had the 32, I think, 13 edge on the boards that game, 14 offensive boards. And that's, when you look at rebounds, offensive rebounds is the is one of the first things you look at in that category too, isn't it? Offensive yeah, rebounds. it is. And I, I give them a goal every every game, how many I expect, and it's usually around 15. You know, if we if we can get 15 or more offensive rebounds, a second that's second it. other uh, chances for us to score. You know, it's so they they've done a great job of crashing the offensive glass, and you know, hopefully we can get some other guys in there getting some more rebounds. We every now and then we have a tendency to want to get back and and not crash, but.
You're yeah, doing a good job. Sometimes we try to make this miraculous pass. It turns out to be a disaster, you know, sometimes. You know, that's the way it goes. And it's the, the jumping to pass is what kills me. <laughs> yeah. My man right here last night, I got him a turnover because he wanted to jump and pass. So. Yeah, it's not the wise thing to do, is it, Tyrese? No, sir. <laughs> It's not. Don't laugh too hard, man. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> we'll pick on Romarian here too. Then, where do you see yourself? Will you, will you be any taller? As the doctor said, this is you're peaked out height wise, or we can get any taller. You think? He said he saw I was nowhere near done growing when I took my uh, my physical test. Nowhere near, near. That's good. Good. That's good to hear good. Right there. Personally, what would you like to do better on the floor for the Bears? I would like. Well, my jump my jump shot is usually not there, and like when I want to take it, I really I I can't. I got Coach Carl on my tail for, <laughs> for trying to take it. So I think I need to improve on my jump shot. That's just honest. three. Yeah. That's just three. Mid, I need to improve on my mid ranges too. <laughs> <laughs> well, how's it feel to go up there and throw down a thunder dump? You know, oh, you it feels good. It feels six good. of them in one game last week. I, Walker Valley game, I believe yep. was. You yes, know, sir. and all that. Uh, that gets the crowd fired up, you know, mm -hmm. and all that. And it's a thrill to see that happen. It's no more important than a three-point shot or anything else, but it, it does fire the crowd up there. Yes, sir. I remember when I was dunking in high school that, uh, well, maybe I'll talk something about it. <laughs> maybe I wasn't you, dunking, you know. How's it feel? <laughs> can you rank and dunk? Yeah, I can dunk it. I ain't got one in high school yet, though. Hey, we're counting on you to get a couple of those, you know. Maybe have an opportunity tomorrow night at East Hamilton here. Know anything at all about East Ham? I don't know anything at all about them. Uh, they're gonna play. They're gonna play really hard. They play extremely hard. They got guys that can make shots. Um, you know, they'll mix up defenses. They'll be man zone. So we got to be ready for a little bit of everything tomorrow night. Well, tomorrow night, by, by the way, it's the Lynn Jones Foundation night. So we'll have a huge crowd here for that. He'll have, I believe, Black Fox and Prospects schools yeah. here as well, and be in front of a big crowd tomorrow night. It should be an exciting time and. Can't wait to be here. We'll have it on mix We're looking forward one. to it. Those are the crowds you want to play in front of. You know, packed house in here, it gets rowdy in there. So that's that's a great atmosphere. It's a lot of fun to play in front of. Baron, does, does it the crowd affect you when we got a big crowd here and, and we're just rolling and the crowd's into it and the students section's going crazy over there and No, it just we can't hear. It like when we trying to talk to each other, we can't really hear what we gotta say, so we gotta scream. Yeah. But not really not like not nervous wise, no sir. Yeah. Well, it's got to make you, you can feel that enthusiasm, though, and yeah. all of that. Sometimes on the radio, you know, I got headsets, and I can't even hear myself talking hardly on the radio sometimes. But, hey, Coach, that's got to inspire you and everybody else, because I know with the huddles, sometimes you can't hardly get the message across because it's so uh, yeah. noisy in there. No, it's a, it's a great problem to have. Yeah, you know? yeah it is. Anytime, our student section is awesome. They come out every game. They support us. They, they go on the road with us. Yeah. So it's, it's fired up. It's a good, it's a good to have them, they have to speak louder. Which communication is big, they need to yeah. work on it. That's a great problem to have. Well, we should have a great crowd here Thursday, and then we'll be back home Tuesday and also on the road now at Cleveland next Friday. We really need a big crowd over there. Absolutely. So, folks, come out and support the Bears. We're going to wrap things up for this week. Uh, thank you for being here today, or Marion. Appreciate you very much. Two juniors, Tyrese Stovall. Keep it going there with uh, Tatiana. You know, she thinks she can beat you. I've asked her. You know. oh my Lord. And Tia says she can beat both of you. So there you go. The challenge is on. <laughs> Coach, as always, thanks for being here Thank today you. promoting Brandon Central Boys Basketball. I've been your host, Gary Oman. Until next time, we'll say so long for now and God bless.